Hey, 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 it's your girl Zimmy coming to you live with another video. It's been a while since I've posted and is a reason for me doing so. I noticed that when I post videos every Wednesday, the video that I posted previously does not get the proper viewing because my newest video is outshining that video. So um, I just decided that I'm going to post according to my views right now. It's not going to be a permanent um, solution. But right now it works for my channel, it works for my um, system, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, but typically I will be posting around Wednesdays because that's mainly the day that I have time to, you know, take a little breather and relax and talk to you guys. So um, without further ado, I would like to take a moment to welcome aboard to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope that you get as much information, as much positivity as possible from my channel and my messages. And I want you guys to participate and leave comments in the section below, you know, and tell me what you think about the video. Also, I would like to take a moment to welcome back to my returning subscribers because you guys have been following me since day one. A few of you guys I know personally that I met through social media and you guys have always been commenting and all that good stuff. So my next video, I will shout you guys out because I appreciate you and you're taking the time out to leave a comment. So without further ado, let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is dun, 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 true relationships, true friendships, I rather say. I want to focus more so on friendships in this video versus boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife type of relationship because I think that friendships is very important to establish and build and get to know each other. And once you, um, once you experience all those aspects, you're a friend. For me, I don't consider you a friend anymore once I take you into my heart, once I've devoted time in you, invested, because you invest in friendships. You really do. It's just like taking your money, buying a um, product, you're investing in that product. You want it to work because you just you just don't want to take your money out your wallet or your purse and just throw it down the down the, the toilet, right? You're investing in that product, and if you like it, you're going to continue to buy that product and invest in that product. You know, so that's how I am with my friendships. I get to know you. You know, I test you on many levels, and if I find out that you are the type of friend that I want, you you get promoted to family. Your your family status. You're like my sister or my brother or something like that. Um, that's how I look at it. So anyway. How do you know that you have true friendships? It's easy. What morals do you have for yourself? What values do you value most in people determines what is a true friendship? Me, on the other hand, I get attached easily to people. You know, I, I am a true lover at heart. I won't even hurt a fly. You know, if I see a spider and someone kill that spider, I'd be like, oh my God, you just killed that spider. How you know that that spider wasn't a mother and she got to get home to her family. And they looking at me like, girl, please, that spider is at my house disturbing me. So therefore, it's going to get killed. And I'm looking at you like, mm, 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 mm. poor spider. <laughs> so I say that to say this. I am a very loving person. There's no evil in me. I mean, of course, I get mad and I get frustrated. But for the most part, I'm loving. You know, I take the time to invest in people because I want people to invest in me, you know. Um, I treat people according to how I would like to be treated. You know, well, if I have emotional days and where I need someone to talk to and I need a friend to lean on, I expect for you to be there for me as if I was there for you, you know. And what I'm learning when I'm getting to know people is just because I put in the time or just because I'm there for you doesn't automatically work as if they're going to be there for you in your time of need. And I learned that the hard way because I was the type of person where, let's just say, for instance, if the person called me five in the morning and I wake up my sleep and talk to you and make sure you're OK, make sure you don't need anything, you know, and you you good again. You'd be like, you know what? Thank you so much for being there for me. I appreciate it. You know, I didn't know what I'd do without you. Oh, my God. You're like the bestest friend in the world. You know, that makes me feel good. But it makes me feel better when I know that you're good. Right. So then same scenario come around and I need a friend. I need a, I need someone to talk to. And it may not be five in the morning, but I'll call you and you're not there for me. And, and I noticed that every time I need you for something, you're not there as much as I am there for you. 
then that's a sign to me that you're really not, you're really not a, a friend, you know, because friends be there for you. Now, however, a true friend understands if you're going through something and you call me and I'm not available and I say, well, I'm in the middle of something and it's not like life or death or you're, you're not planning on hurting yourself or, you know, anything of that nature. Can I give you a call back? I'm in the middle of something. I'm going to call you back. I promise. And you and that friend get upset with you because you did that? Mm -mm. You guys need a serious talk because things don't work on your time. You know, things, the world goes on. You get what I'm trying to say? So if you have a friend who always get jealous or get upset because they need to talk to you right then and there and you're not available for them right per se, it's not saying that you don't want to talk to them. You just need to talk to them at a later date and they're not understanding of that. Then you need to validate that friendship. You get what I'm trying to say? So um, that's what it is. And then also you should be able to be open and honest in your friendship as well. Everything is not always agreeable, okay? You may agree that purple is your favorite color. You may agree that that boy is cute. Or you may agree that that baby is precious or that baby needs to get a beating or discipline. You may agree on a lot of things, but the moment that you don't agree with them on something and they get a little attitude because they're so used to you agreeing with them, maybe you need to validate that relationship too because you're not going to... I feel like you should be honest with your friendship. If you know that that friend is doing something they're not supposed to be doing or you don't agree with a particular situation that they're going through and because you are their friend, they look at you to be on their side, then that's not really a friendship because you can't be yourself. Me, on the other hand, when a friend comes to me telling me some stuff that I think that's very immature or I think that you know, you're, you're a better person than that, don't stick down to that level and they get upset with me because I'm not like, yeah, girl, let's go over that girl house and beat her up. Oh yeah, girl, take that girl, man. Because I'm not like that, and you get a, a, a you get a problem, or you have a problem with what I what I'm saying, then you're not really a friend. Because I feel like a friend doesn't put friends in harm's way. If anything, your role is to build your friendship up, build that person up. You notice that your friend has potential to go to college and study and be all that they can be, and yet they just sitting around letting time pass them by. As a friend, you'd be like, hey, listen, you got a lot of potential. I think that you should go to school for something. Go to school to perfect your craft. That's what friends do. They don't just sit, the, they don't just sit around and, 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 and live their life and build their life up and have you in the dust looking like, can I, can I borrow $40? You know what I mean? Like, you want to build them up. You know, you don't want them, you don't want them just sitting there letting time pass them by. And next thing they know, they're 40 years old with four or five kids. They ain't got nothing going on for themselves. And you over here shining and thriving. Like, no, you, you, you pull them along with you. If they're accepting of it, that's perfect. If they're not accepting of it, then you just need to be like, you know what? I'm outgrowing you. And that's, that brings me to another topic. Outgrowing people. You can outgrow people. And I, I, I've noticed that. I'm 26 years old and... I have a lot of friendships in my past times. And you outgrow people. You don't do the things that you used to do anymore. You mature. You know, you, you, you cuss less. You dress differently. You, you even date differently. You don't even date the same guys that you dated when you were teenagers. You, you date men. Men who got degrees, who have education, who have something going for themselves. And... Um, the homegirl that you were so cool with in elementary school and high school, they still dating bum guys, people who don't have a job. I'm not looking down on people. This is not what this video is about. I'm not looking down on you. But however, you outgrow people when you start wanting better for yourself and that person just want to stay in the comfort zone. You know, I used to be in my comfort zone, but, um, the job that I have now is helping me step out of my comfort zone to be more insertive. And stop being in the shadows of people. You know, I'm comfortable being in the back line. But the job that I have now is pushing me to be in the front line, to, to speak, to demand presence. You know, that's just type that's the type of world that I'm more or less getting into. So I say this to say this. True friendships is whatever you value. If you know that you have a friend that you think that you want to repair your relationship because 
you know, you've gotten so busy, you, you don't hang out with them anymore, or you your friends on Facebook and you only talk to them whenever they post a picture, or you may message them here and there, but they're real good friends. Maybe you need to work on that relationship and prepare that relationship because they may be going through some stuff in life that you may not know nothing about because you guys are detached. And, you know, you may be the bigger person to reach out because sometimes people don't like reaching out first because they get rejected fast. They may feel like they will get rejected. So me, I'm learning to just be the bigger person and just be like, hey, listen, I miss your friendship. I miss you. How have you been? You, they got kids that you've never seen before. You want to reach out to them and be like, listen, I know you got kids. Let, 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 me, let me grow a relationship with them. You know, I miss your mom. I miss your dad. I remember when I used to go to your house and we used to chill. We used to do all this. But let's get back into the groove. You're a good person. You never done me anything. I'm a good person. I never done you any harm. Let's build that relationship again. And then who you know, you'll have your best friend back. You'll build that relationship back. So rebuild relationships over, validate your life. Look back in your life and say, what relationships is worth to you repairing? You know, what relationship is worth you, you know, going all out and making sure that that person is fine, making sure you guys are back on the same page or what have you like that's my thing. Right now, I'm just validating my life and looking back over to my mistakes, leaving my mistakes as those and learning from it. Sometimes people want to go back in life and change stuff. Sometimes you just got to leave it in the past and just move forward. Don't let your past make your future, you know? So um, that's all I want to say about true friendships. Um, this topic can go on and on and on. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is right now, but I do not want to ramble on any longer. <laughs> so um, with that being said, thanks again for taking the time out to watch this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do so now. Hit that bell button as well because you can be subscribed to a channel, but if you don't hit that bell, you're not going to see the update the updated videos that they will post. So just be sure you subscribe and click that bell as well. And I'll talk to you guys next week. If not next week, um, sometime later on down the month. Okay. So love you guys. Take care of yourself. Love each other. Love on one another. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.